Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. A couple of days ago, I performed an El Capitan to Sierra upgrade on my 6700K Hackintosh. I would have loved to show you that video because I recorded the whole process, but my Game Capture HD software had been upgraded at the same time, uh, so my entire video file was corrupted because apparently the new version of the Game Capture HD software couldn't handle the reboot process, and when I rebooted it corrupted the file. So, uh, we are going to perform this process all over again today on the 4700K Hackintosh that usually lives up in my boys' room. Before we get started, I want to make a note here. I believe that this Hackintosh originally was set up with a Mac Pro profile in the Clover configurator. The first thing that you want to do is when you go to About This Mac here, if this says like early 2008, if it says 2008 or anything like that, you're going to have to change your profile in Clover configurator because uh, I don't think they'll allow you to upgrade to Sierra on such an old um, hardware profile. So the way you do that is you download Clover configurator I'm not going to go through that process because it looks like it has a lot of nasty ads. Um, maybe make sure that you're running some antivirus software like Avast before you, uh, you do this. But uh, you start up your Clover configurator. You're going to mount your EFI partition. Click Mount Partition over there. Uh, which disk your EFI partition is on is entirely dependent on the order that you have them plugged into your motherboard. On my Hackintosh 4700K machine or 4790K machine, it's disk 0 S1. On my 6700K machine, it just so happens to be disk 2 S1. What you do is you try it until it works. So we're going we're gonna to use disk 0 S1. We're going to click OK. Put in my password here. All right, so this mounted the EFI partition. Now we're going to click this Import button. And we're going to click on the EFI partition. We're going to click on the EFI subdirectory, the Clover subdirectory, and config.plist, and we're going to click Open. The next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to click on SMBIOS, and we're going to click this little magic wand. Uh, probably what you'll see first is you'll see this interface here that allows you to choose which kind of a Mac you, you want your computer to pretend to be. I'm going to pick an iMac, and I'm going to, from this drop down, I'm going to pick the 14, the iMac 14.2 profile. You really, I know that I have a 4790K in this machine, so you might be tempted to pick 15.1, but if you're using an NVIDIA web driver, there's a good chance that you'll get a black screen when you reboot if you use uh, the 15.1 profile. So it's really not worth the extra trouble. Just go with the 14.2 pro profile, click OK, click the export configuration, save it, reboot. At that point, once you've rebooted, close all of this garbage down. At that point, once you've rebooted, you should be able to click on About This Mac, and you should see iMac 27-inch late 2013. So now we can try doing a software update to Sierra. We're going to do free upgrade, and it's going to download this, so I'll let this run. Okay, so before we click this continue button, let's uh, take a little jaunt over to the uh, Tony Mac x86 uh, upgrade page and take a look at what it says about upgrading to Sierra. Okay, so the first thing that it says is to download the latest version of Clover and update your existing Clover install. So what this is going to do is it's going to actually replace our bootloader with a, a more recent version of Clover. And I know from experience that it's going to change the way that it looks. So let's go ahead and do that now. SourceForge, man. I haven't seen SourceForge, SourceForge in such a long time. Everything's GitHub these days. All right. So now what we do is we uh, run this package, this installer package. Uh, right, so you got to right click on it and left click on open. Then you left click on open. And here's the installer in the background. Click continue, click continue, click install. Type in password. I'm going to go ahead and close this 
in the background. Okay, installation complete. Now the second thing that it says to do is to copy a bunch of this stuff over, okay? And it says you can download them from here. Uh, that didn't work out incredibly well for me when I did this. So uh, what I did instead is I mounted my EFI partition. We've got downloads selected right here. We're going to press the Windows key and up, or if you've got a Mac keyboard, it's the Mac key and up. And we're going to keep pressing that until we are looking at our hard drives here, and we're going to double click on the El Capitan hard drive. We're going to go into library, and let's see if I can remember where this is stored. I'm doing this from memory from the 6700K Hackintosh. I believe it's extensions. So it's library, extensions, and here's all your texts that are currently loaded. So you're going to do Apple A, so that uh, or Windows A, and that highlights everything. That's select all. You could also go up here and do edit select all. Then you're going to right click there and you're going to do copy. Or what I like to do is uh, I like to drag them. So I'm going to drag them to the EFI partition. And the question is, where am I going to put them? Here, hang on. New folder, no, new finder window. Okay, so in one of these windows, I'm going to have where I'm going to put them. And we want to put them in EFI Clover Texts Other. And actually what I read is that it's good to put them in EFI Clover Texts uh, 11.12 and maybe also Other. So we'll do Other first. Actually, let's just do 10.12. All right, so we're going to select them all, and then we're going to drag them over right there. Should copy them all right over. And then I think last time I put them in 10.11 also. I'm not sure if that's necessary or not. You can experiment with that. I don't want to break anything, so I'm going to go ahead and copy them over there as well. I really don't know if that's necessary, though. This is just what I did with the 6700K and it worked. Okay, and then once you've got that copied over, we should be able to run the Sierra install. So it says download uh, Mac OS Sierra. Uh, all right, so we're just going to run that install at this point. And I'll close down my Clover configurator because we don't need that open anymore. Okay, we're going to click continue on Mac OS Sierra. Agree, agree, El Capitan, ironically enough, install. And we're going to restart. Now, you see what this says down here while we're racing the clock here. It says, complete the installation process. When complete, the computer will automatically reboot. When Clover boot screen appears, choose boot Mac OS X option. Uh, the computer will then complete the update. If you don't choose that, then you're going to boot into your old uh, installation, and I'll show you that in a second. So we're going to reboot now. Okay, and here is our new uh, Clover bootloader. This thing's kind of interesting. And so you can see here we've got boot Mac OS install from El Capitan, and then here we've got boot Mac OS from El Capitan. So this is the old one, right? If we choose this, then we're going to boot into our old El Capitan, uh, you know, system. If we choose this one, then we're going to actually continue with the Sierra install. So we're going to choose this one. And uh, first, we're going to hit spacebar. We're just going to look at the options here. Uh, and NVDA DRV equals one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to we're going to just boot with the selected options. Looks like we went down for a reboot. So we're back to one option, just boot Mac OS from El Capitan. So let's try that. And it looks like we're back to installing. Interesting. And we're back. All right, so it hands us, if we wait a minute, it hands us a new NVIDIA driver. So let's go ahead and install that. Uh, but before we do so, what is this? 
But before we do so, uh, something has changed in Sierra. So let's go ahead and load up the Clover configurator. Um, by the way, we are indeed running Sierra at this point, 10.12.1. Uh, so let's load up the Clover configurator. We're going to mount the EFI partition and for some reason in Sierra, the Clover configurator's disk selection is uh, kind of broken. We're going to pick zero. Yeah, so it's a different one this time. So it's not zero, it's, I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard because it's easier. I think it's two this time. Let's see. Let's import that. Okay, so EFI, EFI, Clover, config.plist, open. Okay, now this is what has changed. When we click on boot here, NVDA DRV equals one is no longer a thing. So we're gonna uncheck that. And we're gonna come over here to system parameters. The new setting for this in uh, this new version is NVIDIA web. So we're gonna check NVIDIA web, agree? Go ahead and close this window. We don't need it anymore. All right, and restart. Okay, now let's see if it boots us into uh, the NVIDIA web driver. Hmm, still not working. Not good. Let's just download this again. I want to make sure that I, I got exactly the right one. So we're going to go um, Hackintosh, Sierra, NVIDIA, web driver. We are running 10.12.1. So we're just going to download this. I'm just not sure if it downloaded the right one or what. Continue, continue, agree, install. Try this again. I think this is the right one. So it looks to me like the automated installer grabbed uh, the El Capitan version of the web driver because I think there's a version for El Capitan and there's one for Sierra. Now it's got the right one. All right, this is Jesse with Create This. I hope you found this video interesting or useful. If you did, let me know down in the comments and go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below the video. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.